everybody and welcome to another day of my one week one palette challenge. Today I'm filming a new look and today I decided to go for something a little bit more dramatic. Let's get started. First of all and with a EXO Beauty crease blender brush which is definitely one of my favorites of them all. I'm going to start with the color Georgia which is this lovely peachy pinky shade down here and I'm going to start with that color in my crease. That is going to be the main like transition shade for today's look. Blending it all into the crease and up towards the brow. All the way towards the inner corners. Just like that. Same thing of course on the other side. Now I'm going to go into the darker colors for today already and I wanted to create something purpley greenish kind of today so to use this half of the palette a little bit more so I'm going to use the purples and the greens up here a little bit together today to create a very nice smoky colorful and a little bit more out there look and I'm going to go and use let me think I'm going to use the Suiva 234 smoky shader brush and the color peach pit which is that one there a little bit lighter purpley shade and I'm going to put that one into the crease first up here I'm creating a little bit of a wing shape out here and you can see that it's not too purpley this shade itself it's more like a I don't know it's definitely more brownish purplish and a kind of a wing shape out here Just keeping it away from the lid itself as far as possible. Now going into the Crease Blender Brush by EXO Beauty and just going over it a little bit more to already blend it out a little bit. Okay, now that I have color everywhere I want it, I'm going to blend it. I'm also going to use a little bit of the color Bellini here right next to the other one to blend it. I'm also blending the dark color more towards the inner corner with the Laura Mercier ponytail brush. I'm using a teeny tiny bit of peach pit to blend it all the way to the inner corner. this and now the same thing on the other side okay and once you look like that which is really really messy at this point and I hope that it turns out the way I want it to I'm going to take the EXO Beauty angled shadow brush and the color delectable which is the purple right next to the one we just used and I'm going to put that one on top to make it a little bit more color popping, kind of. So I'm putting that one in the outer corners and all the way through the crease towards the inner corner. But not too much, not too strongly. Into it with my Laura Mercier blending brush again. Blending it together. Right, so I'm just blending a little bit more up here with Delectable to make it nice and purple and to have a nice transition up here and towards the inner corners. Now, uh, before I go to the next step, I'm going to start with my lower lash line. What I'm going to do is to go on with a Delectable and put that one and the middle of the lashes. So again, of course, continuing the line from out here. I'm using a MAC 212 brush if you're wondering, and I'm just what I did not say. Same thing of course on the other side. can be a little bit more because we're doing such a smoky look so you can really get out there. Using a so either 234 brush to blend that a little bit down there but to not add too much to it. Okay, like this 
And now we'll be moving on to the next step. Therefore, I'm going to use a little bit of concealer, which is the NYX HD Studio Photogenic one. And I'm just going to use the teeny tiniest little bit on my eyelids. From the middle towards the inner corners. I want the color which goes there to pop a lot. I'm going to use my EXO Beauty dual paddle brush and the smaller end to apply the concealer there. Just patting it on kind of. Doesn't have to be too neat because we're blending a lot of it. And now I'm going to use again the Suive 234 on a certain point kind of. And I'm going to use the color Bless Her Heart, which is a lovely light spring green in here. And I'm going to pat that onto the concealer. I really want the green to be very visible and to pop out kind of, so that is why I apply the concealer before. Of course you blend it into the purple. Blending it into the purple on the in the outer corners, more on top than into it, but I'm blending from the outside towards the inside so that I do not completely erase the purple color because I really want the purple to be strong. Oh, up there. Oh, I'm sorry about that one. I don't know how much concealer and foundation and stuff I put on, just won't vanish. It's not even a spot, it's just a red. That's all. Like this, maybe a bit more. Okay, like that. I can see how lovely the green pops out of the purple. Okay, now for some highlights around the dark eye. I would think that it's quite important to have highlights when you do such a dark, smoky eye. And for that one, I'm going to use a white peach, which is up in the corner. And I'm using a Laura Mercier eye crease brush. It's a very nice, short, dense brush. Putting it up here on top of the purple as a brow brown highlight. And to make it a little bit lighter up there. It's just very nice, a little bit of a highlight up there. And also the same color with a Exo Beauty blender brush. Putting it in my inner corners. I'm kind of patting it on, not blending it too much. And if you want to blend it a little bit into the color, then I would recommend from the inside towards the outside, because then you do not blend any of the green or the purple into the highlight. I'm going in a little bit more with the purple color underneath my lower lashes. And I think I'm going to do that again with the Laurier Mercier eye crease brush. And just go a little bit more underneath here. Not too much. I just want it to be a little bit smoky. Okay. And then you're already done with the eyeshadows. I said already. It does take some time. Now on to eyeliners and lashes. For an eyeliner, I'm going to make quite a huge wing today. Not too much because I don't want to the green to go away. And I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner because it's one of my favorites. So I'm drawing a nice wing liner following the shape I created, of course. Now, I'm going in with a eye pencil. This is by L'Oreal Paris. This is one of their Coleridge Le Col pencils. And this is in the color Midnight Black in my waterline. If you want to have it a little bit less dramatic, if that is even possible, then of course you can skip the pencil because it just makes it a little bit more, even more dramatic and dark. And now, then we have to decide if you want to go show for the eyelashes or not. Okay, for lashes today, I'm going to use a Again, some extra beauty lashes and I'm going to use one from the Dramatics and the ones I'm going to use are these ones, the Soulmate lashes. So like always, and I know that's not super perfectly professional, I'm going to come back to you after I applied my lashes. Okay guys, the lashes are on, it was a little bit easier than I expected it to be. Although this side is everything but perfect. I'm probably just not made to shop high for eyelashes. Now on to mascara, of course. So I'm using the Tanya Burr Cosmetics Selfie Lash Mascara. A little bit up here. And then of course I'm also going to use the mascara on my lower lashes. Okay, and with that the eye look is done and it's dramatic, but I love it. Okay, and of course the only thing, thing missing today is now lipstick. I really know to which color I want to go for. I want to go for something a little bit nudier because it's quite dark. I could of course also go for something a little bit darker, like nudish. 
looks good. Also, this is a quite new one I have from MAC. And this is from, oh god, I don't remember, a special collection. The uh, Padma collection, I think. A matte lipstick and a kind of nude fudge. I like that together. Okay, so this is the finished look, guys. I actually quite like it, even. It's really, really dark. What do you think? Do you like it? So this is the finished look for today, guys. I hope that you like it. It's definitely more dramatic and darker than all the other ones but of course I had to create a night out look with the palette and I think it's still spring colorish and still very lovely with the purple and green and everything and I just still think that it's a nice look. So let me know what you think about it in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you won't miss all the future one of the palette challenges and of course the missing video for tomorrow and give it a thumbs up if you liked it and of course link me in your picture send me your links if you recreate this or any of the other looks I created for this challenge or for the series basically. Thank you so much for watching my video. I hope that you have a wonderful time and I will see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Take care.